Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to Forbes.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. This is not our opinion and it never has been. And people accuse us of putting our opinions in these videos when we have the websites up right here in the intro of the video. So Forbes.com, if you're not subscribed, smack that subscribe button before we fill in that beautiful map. This is the article that we are referring to, and it was written by Sarah Dorn and Antonio Pacquali IV, aka the fourth. Yes, I know, Antonio Pacquali the fourth. Let's film that beautiful map according to Forbes's polling. We have blue for Kamala Harris. That is Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, parts of Nebraska, Illinois, New York. Um, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, D.C., and Virginia are all blue for Kamala Harris. For the red states, we have Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, well, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and parts of Maine. South Carolina as well, if I forgot to mention that, if I didn't, know oh well. We are going to fill in the battlegrounds, a.k.a. the swing states, which can turn an election in one candidate's favor. According to Forbes, they are Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. So, let's get ready. We got Nevada has, according to Forbes.com, Harris is in the lead by less than a percent, making Nevada blue for Kamala Harris. We have Arizona with 11 electoral votes has Trump in the lead by some polls. Forbes says he's a lead by 0.2 in some polls and by one point in others and by five points in others, depending on which pollsters, Quinnipiac, uh, Rasmussen, they got real clear polling. They've got um, the Deseret and they've got Bloomberg. And according to one of those polls, he's ahead by five. Some of them he's ahead by less than a percent, making Arizona Red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance's hillbilly eulogy. Wisconsin, according to Forbes.com, Trump is in the lead by less than a percent by 0.2, making Wisconsin red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, according to the website Forbes, we have Harris in the lead by one point. Others um, polls state that she has a less than one point lead at 0.5, but Michigan is blue for Kamala Harris. Georgia, according to Forbes.com, as you all could tell by the article in first paragraph, they are both in a deadlock tie in Georgia. Georgia will not be colored in. Nobody has won Georgia. North Carolina, according to Forbes.com, Trump has a less than 1% lead in North Carolina, making North Carolina red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. Pennsylvania is the state that both candidates need to win. If they do not win Pennsylvania, they do not win the 2024 election guaranteed unless they win six others of the battleground states. Then they don't need Pennsylvania. If they don't win Pennsylvania, they lose the election. We have called it here first since we started doing these at the beginning of September. You need Pennsylvania in order to win the 2024 election. According to Forbes.com, Trump is winning Pennsylvania by less than a percent. That makes Pennsylvania red for Donald J. Trump, giving him 275 electoral votes to Kamala Harris' 247. And with the 16 electoral votes added to Kamala Harris, she still would not win or even tie Donald J. Trump. How does this result make you guys feel? Let us know in the comments. Are you happy? Are you angry? Are you inflamed? Are you filled with rage that Donald J. Trump won, according to early polls? Or are you happy? Are you ecstatic? Are you a MAGA light or a MAGA hard? Let us know in the comments. Who do you want to win? And what would you do differently with this election than you did in 2020 election? As always, I am the highly illustrious, highly perfected Nirvana President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out and tired.